What's up guys, Javier from Matt Racing Channel. Welcome back to the long-awaited TRC R32 GTR build series. We're so pumped, I'm so excited. It's been such a long time since we posted anything about this. I know a lot of you guys probably thought we abandoned the project, but that couldn't be further from the truth. We've been working really hard on it. Uh, the truth is we actually had to put the project on hold for a little bit. Uh, we were doing a lot of things to expand TRC and bring you guys some really seriously awesome content. There was also a lot of time waiting for parts, waiting for machine work. Um, this is a really big project. Uh, originally we were gonna shoot for probably the seven or 800 horsepower range. Now we're looking at probably 11 or north of 1200 or something like that. So um, it's a whole other monster now. During the time that you guys have been waiting, we've been filming as much as we possibly can uh, to just give you guys a really awesome experience with the R32 build. We're so ready to get this series rolling. The plan was that I didn't want to have to stop episodes midway through. So we, we compiled a lot of footage and we got uh, well into the project. So now that we're going to be able to provide consistent updates for you guys. So starting tomorrow, Tuesday, April 23rd, we're going to start dropping episodes at 3 p.m. Eastern. And every Tuesday moving forward at 3 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be dropping more episodes for the series. So make sure to tune in. And for anybody that's new to the channel or just wants to get caught up on the build, here's a recap so you guys can get caught up. It's the first, uh, first daytime shot for you guys. Give you guys another little peek. So we're here with Andre EMS. Here she is. Thanks again, Kev. RB30. Nice. Oh shit. Godzilla. Motorsports. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say it like that. All right, let's unwrap this sucker. So it's ready for 1500, right? Ah, uh, no, probably about 1650. <laughs> no, RB26 had so much more pretty. Look at that, oh there it is, folded. Folded. Hell yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And the project begins. Time to take her home and get the head stripped off and see what we're working with uh, with the block. So yeah, so on the 26th, the head actually starts here. Wow. Look how much space it is now with the RB30 block. That's nuts. That's almost an inch. It's pretty cool. What? It's a lot cleaner than I expected. What do you see? Looks pretty good. So like a that's pretty good. Turns good. What we're looking for is any score marks inside the bore. So we want to do the least amount of uh, boring as possible. So the block looks really good. It looks really good. Wow. Yeah. Look at it clean. Pull it up and then I gotta call the number and then I can go pick it up. Okay. We got 3340. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I was Not too shabby. So who's closer? You were actually closer. Who was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not too bad to start off. Like I was saying earlier, we're we're gonna we got a lot to pull out of it uh, that we're not gonna really use. The four wheels. The goal will be somewhere around probably 28 or 2900 pounds when we're done. So let's go back to AG and throw her on the dyno. Stock boost. Stock boost, yeah. All right, guys, it's a wrap for the GTR Dyno. We'll see you next time. All right, guys, we're here uh, with Alex, Perfect Shine Car Care. He's the man. So overall, the condition of the the car for being a '91, it's it's pretty good. But we're gonna give it a little once over, do a little walk around here before and after. All right, guys, let's check out the finished product. Got our man Alex here. Woo, man. The roof, such a difference. All the little little deposits on there, got them all out. It's like glass. All right, 
right guys, we got everything laid out here. Uh, so we're going to take you step by step on all the different uh, miscellaneous parts we've put together for the build here. Uh, so we're going to start off with the most important piece. Uh, Brad at School Imports, uh, based out of uh, Brisbane, Australia. He hooked it up with an incredible stroker kit. So that's right guys, a 3.2 liter stroker kit. Start off with the, uh, with the crankshaft. So it's a 91 millimeter stroker. It's actually a billet crankshaft. Uh, from Spool Imports. So. And as you can see, if you look at the front here, we actually had uh, this pressed on. So it's a 2JZ uh, spline drive uh, for the uh, billet oil pump gear that we're going to use. So you can see here, the, the teeth are a little different. Um, the original RB26, it's a flat drive system, um, which that's what causes sometimes, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the oiling issues and, and gears to, to break or shatter um, when you're, you know, revving high and also hitting, uh, you know, hitting the red limiter a lot. So these rods are uh, the drag, I believe they're called the Drag Pro I-Beam rods from Spool Imports. These guys know what they're doing, make some of the best stuff out there. Uh, and then we got some custom CP pistons, 9 to 1 compression. So you can take a look here, they got the Spool logo on top. Look at those bad boys. Woo. Take one of these out here. So yeah, just boss, really, really awesome. So typically with the RB26, uh, they tend to uh, carry a lot of oil in the head uh, or, or retain a lot of oil in the head uh, at high RPM. So this will help us uh, drain this back uh, down to the block. So. All right, so this we actually got from Rips Racing. It's an all-wheel drive, high-capacity sump. So this is going to allow us to actually run more oil in the RB. So that's going to help with uh, one of the common issues uh, with, the, with the RB platform. All right, so now we're going to move into the parts we got uh, from Real Street Performance. Uh, basically everything for the head. So we got some... Uh, 625 plus uh, custom age head studs, so that's the good stuff. We got some Kelford cams, so these are uh, 274 cams from Kelford. 274. Uh, and you can't forget the uh, the real street, <laughs> all the real street goodies. Thanks, Gio. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got some more goodies here from Ferreira. Dual valve springs. Dual valve springs. Ferreira. Brace valves. What material you got All here? the good stuff. Got Gotta love overnight parts from Real Street. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we actually went with uh, one millimeter over. And here we got our new project car. It's Godzilla! The RB30 power plant arrived. We hit the dyno for some baseline numbers. As our thirst for horsepower grew larger, the 3.2 liter stroker arrived. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the next episode of the R32 GTR build series. So we're on our way to Mozworks here to bring the RB30 for some machine work. Got it all packed up, ready to go. We'll see you guys there. Yes, here we are, Mozworks. All right, so what we're gonna do is, since this is the RB30 block, we're gonna have to convert it to be able to run the all-wheel drive pump. But first, what we'll start to do is, we'll start by popping out the main all galley plugs here, the front and back, and we'll thread and tap that, make sure the block's completely clean. We'll go ahead and we'll deck the block. You know, it's a standard iron block, so it's not too complicated. We'll deck it, and we'll, we'll pour and hone it to a specific size piston. Um, then what we do, too, we'll take this rear freeze plug, we'll pop that out, and we'll actually machine it for a threaded freeze plug, and what we make here. So if any, any problems at the track, you don't have a problem with it popping out. And before uh, honing a block, we'll machine the threads from an uh, 11 millimeter thread to a 12 millimeter thread so they can use the RB26 studs and we can put the torque plate on and mimic, you know, simulate having a cylinder head torque for the block so we can have a true cylinder. All right, so we're here at Porting Solutions with Chris. He absolutely killed it on the RB head here. We have a bone stock port RB head and then his post port RB head. So you can see here what we were talking about with the hump. That's now gone. See a little hump there, that's... Makes a big difference. We've trusted Chris for many, many years with all of our port work here for the heads. The TRC Supra, the TRC 240. You know, we've picked up big, big power. I'd say 90, maybe even 100 horse, uh, wheel horsepower on the Supra. And it's the same one that he, we have on our, on our 2J, the 7 second 240. So he just does really awesome work.
All right, so you can see the intake side here. Just a really, really big difference from the stock port. So let's get down to business. We have some major updates for you guys with some of the larger components of the build. A lot of people have been wondering what transmission we're gonna go with, what turbo we're gonna run, some of the cold and hot side parts of the car, intake manifold, exhaust manifold, things of that nature. So first things first, the power maker. Let's talk about the turbo. We're gonna be going with none other than a Precision 7685 Gen 2. We decided to go with the 7685. We have a lot of experience with that turbo. We run the same turbo on the TRC Supra and the TRC 240. We absolutely love that turbo. In our opinion, it's gonna be a perfect street slash strip turbo. R32 is gonna have a 3.2 liter stroker and we're probably gonna tap it with a little bit of nitrous just to wake up the turbo. We're not too worried about spool and that 85 turbine wheel is just magic. So that's gonna really, really give us an awesome top end on the car. And for those of you who don't remember, we'll show you a couple clips of that 7685 in action. updates we're most excited about let's talk transmission we're going to be partnering with none other than ppg sequential systems for the r32 that's right guys a freaking ppg sequential system so freaking pumped about that guys never in my life when we started this project would i think we were going to end up going the route with a ppg sequential box it's an absolute dream come true we're going to show you a couple clips of unboxing the transmission as when it came from australia dave and the guys at ppg were so awesome they hooked it up they got it here real quick It's a box of rocks. <laughs> like, hey. We got me. Badass. Got some goodies in here. We got a cable. Some other stuff. This might be some, some electronic. Some kind of some white electronic pieces. That is. So we got like sensors and all the delicate stuff in here. Two shifter. Nice. Oh, nice, that sick. is badass. Nice. <laughs> Hold that up. Oh wait, gotta do it left hand. You gotta get used to that. Feel, feels right. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So we got it all opened up. Let's take a peek here. So this is basically going to be the cluster that replaces the internals of the current uh, R32 GTR transmission. So we'll dive a little bit more into uh, the details when we uh, show the build process. Uh, so basically, this is it. This is the, the heart of the PPG sequential system. Uh, I, I mean, I can't even express how excited I am. I never thought we would have went this route with the transmission. Um, originally, we were looking into the R34 six-speed um, as the R32 really wasn't going to cut it for our power level. Uh, so I'm so, so, so pumped. While we don't have any cool footage of the PPG dog box for you just yet, we're going to show you some clips of the PPG dog box in action from our friends over in Australia, Motive DVD. Alright guys, now let's move on to the turbo manifold. 
we teamed up with no other than Hypertune. We've worked with them a bunch in the past and we've always loved their work. Pete and the guys over at Hypertune hooked us up. So we were having concerns not only about the RB30 fitment and the R32, but also about turbo clearance and things of that nature. There's not that many turbo manifolds on the market specifically made for an RB30 going into an R32 GTR. And the Precision 7685 is a pretty big turbo. So the guys at Hypertune actually had an R32 GTR sitting in the shop, happened to have an RB30 in it, so they were nice enough to mock up our manifold along with a 7685. So fitment should be spot on. So the Hypertune manifold is actually a twin scroll manifold. We're gonna be running twin precision 46 millimeter wastegates. Is a work of art, guys. And not only is it a work of art, but everything I've ever used from Hypertune in the past, the quality is just through the roof. So. So thank you, Pete, and everyone at Hypertune. You guys made it happen. You guys are the best. So when it comes is it love? This is the uh, stock and the PPG. 